Welcome back to the session of uh, management and entrepreneurship. In this session, I'm going to discuss the importance of planning. In the last session, I have discussed about what is the meaning of planning and what are the key components of planning. So the nature of planning we are, we are going to discuss is a beginning process of management. Uh, we can say it's an intellectual process. I, I mean, before uh, doing any work, you have to think. It's a continuous process or not like a one day or one, two, two days activity. Uh, it's a long-term process and it's a continuous. Plan must be flexible. Okay. Uh, then all uh, purpose function, regardless of uh, designation level, all the level, levels of manage, like uh, all the levels of people are involved, either lower level, upper level, or higher level, the top level, all people, all concerned people are involved. In a, this is actually called a goal oriented. It's basically called a goal, goal oriented. So all people are working towards a common objective. That's why we call it as goal oriented. It is an integrated, like uh, there are different uh, like managers, then uh, supervisors, then labels, all the like uh, you know, company, all the group, all the levels have uh, like will be integrated each other. We, and also all the level like marketing manager, HR manager, uh, then uh, finance manager, all the like uh, accounts, uh, HR, all the sections will be integrated. Similarly, it's a systematic process like goal setting, analyze the goal, then development of strategy, implementation, and monitoring. It's a, like a systematic approach and uh, it involves efficiency and effectiveness. Okay, planning improves both efficiency, uh, like uh, doing the right thing at the right time, also doing the like uh, effectiveness, those things will be improved. Okay, these are basically called the nature of planning. So we have to talk about like, uh, uh, we can say it's a first process, uh, then uh, like intellectual, intellectual process, continuous, plan must be flexible, then uh, it's goal oriented approach also integrated ultimately systematic and uh, high in, in order to improve the efficiency we are implementing the planning now we'll discuss about like the uh, importance of planning what are the importance of planning uh, it minimizes the risk and uncertainty you might have seen during the covid 19 some companies already planned at the like uh, uh, like at the time of covid itself they might have received the sign the, how the things will be changing they already planned so like a uh, rational and a fact based procedure for making the decision Okay, it definitely it will help for minimizing the risk and uncertainty. And it leads to success, of course. So basically proactive approach in spite of reactive approach, instead of reactive approach. And it focused on the attention of the organization goal. The planning is mainly focused on the attention of organization goal. Similarly, uh, like uh, facilitate control. Goals and plans become benchmark against which the performance can be measured. There will be like a standard. So the actual performance will be compared with the standard performance. We can uh, find out the gap. Okay, that is another importance of planning. Then trains the executive. Like the uh, excellent planning definitely will support for training of uh, like uh, human resources. Okay, in this session, I have discussed about the nature of planning. What are the major like important points concerning for nature of planning and uh, the importance of planning? Okay, why we are going for planning? Those uh, significance I have discussed. So in the next session, we are going to discuss about the classification of planning. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. If you are watching our channel first time, kindly subscribe, share, and uh, uh, kindly uh, like uh, put the bell button for getting notification. Thank you very much.